Today I review the Vitalite Electrolyte Replacement Drink Mix. So let's get right into it. Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. I am doing a full review of the Vitalite uh, Electrolyte Replacement Drink. This uh, product was recommended to the channel a while back by one of our legends, um, C.V. Rivera. I think he's in Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, I got a chance, especially now that the weather is hot, to really give it a good try. And it is performing really well, especially in the heat. I have my glasses on because the fine print is really interesting and it's small. And I won't spend too much time on it. But what I want to focus on is the first thing I do when I get products like these is to make sure that I'm getting the mix correct because they don't really tell you how many go into our bottles per se, because this was made for just all sports, all endurance sports. It was made by a runner. Um, it has a good backstory. Apparently he came up with the formula himself after being disillusioned with the standard sports drink that was on the market. And you can read about it if you're interested. Once you get to Amazon, we'll put the link to the product in the description of the video. But what I want to focus on today is I got the, I got two different types of them. Uh, this one here is in the pouch. And what's good about this is you can stick it in your pocket when you go on your rides, take it with you. And at the stops, you can fill up your bottles and put it in there. But basically, the first thing I did was I looked at the back of this thing and it had uh, the directions for measuring the product. So I used the conversion chart because all they have on here is one level scoop mix a cup and a cup is like eight fluid ounces. So what I did was I converted that to milliliters. It comes up to about 16.9 uh, ounces will fill up one of these bottles is 500 milliliters. So this pouch, it's not accidental. It's exactly 16.9. And the nice thing about it is they put it right on the front of the package. This little picture tells you that it's 16.9 milliliters. This bag does not do that. On the back of the bag, they got a scoop and then they've got the different things that go to gallon and whatever. So two scoops is 16 ounces. So it's 0 0.9 less than, you know, the full thing. So I just put two heap scoops in a bottle and I'm good to go. What I usually do is I fill the bottle halfway. There's water in here already. And I use this from the house. I use this. I put these in my pocket to take with me. So when we stop, I can use that. And there's a difference. What I like about this, it does not have uh, a lot of sugars and all. And let me read the stuff on here. They said it's non-GMO and gluten-free. And the GMO means genetically modified. I actually ended up looking that up because I wasn't sure what that meant. Um, means non-genetically modified organisms that are in there. So everything is natural. That's basically what that implies. It's isotonic, which means that you don't need additional water or liquid when you drink it. Rapidly absorbed, no stomach discomfort. I can confirm that. No, it says no artificial anything. I got check boxes on the back of the bag. Now, the, they claim that it's the best tasting sports drink on the market. Contains no preservatives. Refrigerate after you mix it. Okay. Now, the flavor of this one, the one in the bag, let's see here, it says fruit punch. But I can attest that what I like about it is the taste is kind of neutral. Uh, you mix it and it's more, it ends up like you're drinking lightly flavored water. So what I do is I take this scoop, I heap it up a little bit because it's 0.9 less. Two scoops will fill up our standard water bottles. The standard water bottle is fi about 500 mil, milliliters. So I put it half water in there first and then shake it up. Close the bottle nice and tight, shake it up. 
in the summer, I add ice. For this demo, I'm not. I've got water in a cup here. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up. Okay, so it's full. The reason that I don't fill the, the bottle up first before putting it in there, it shakes a lot easier if you have the bottle less than full so that you get the thing mixed real quickly. It's very easy to mix. You don't have to shake it any longer than you saw me do. And once I put the water in there, that's it. But what I usually do when we're riding is, you hear me in the videos talk about, I take my electrolyte mix. So I do half with the water, mix it, and then add ice to the top. Because when you put ice in there, it displaces the water. To just get it to where it feels and that close it. That keeps it cold and it maintains the flavor when the ice uh, dissolves. So, now, it says fruit punch. I don't really taste anything sweet. It's not like Kool-Aid or even Gatorade or whatever. Very neutral. It's like lightly flavored water. And what I found is, when it's hot and you're out there, this thing goes down great. It's almost like drinking water, but you get the kick of the electrolytes that you lose through sweating. So you really can't beat it. And that's the reason why I decided to do this review after using it extensively. Uh, I'm going to be riding later, so I'm, this bottle is going with me, of course. Now, let's come to this one. What's cool about this one is, in your pocket, I always carry one or two. We stop at a store. First thing I do when I get to those stores is I put ice in my bottle, put water, I drink. Then I put more, then I make a mix. Then the second bottle is always pure water. The reason I always carry pure water is if I get sweaty in my eyes or if I'm hot and I want to pour water on me, I have pure, pure water to use. And I've mentioned to you guys in the group rises, I always keep my electrolyte mix on the seat tube. So it's standing upright and I keep water on the down tube. So I don't make the mistake of grabbing this to pour on me. <laughs> you know, it can happen if you're not cautious. So check out this product. Uh, CV Rivera, thanks for recommending it because what I like about it is it's almost like uh, getting software for your computer that doesn't hog your machine. It's light all around. And so they, you know, regardless of all the claims on there, what I, what I found the pros are, the taste is almost like water and electrolyte, just kind of neutral with a light flavor in it. You, you don't really feel like you drink. If you mix it properly, like I've described on here, you don't feel like you're drinking an electrolyte per se, which is what you need when it's hot. You want something to be like water. So it's like water with a nice light flavor and it just goes down and does the job and it keeps you hydrated. It keeps your, your energy levels up. You can't go wrong with that. So I'm sold on it. And that's the reason I decided to make this uh video uh i'm blown away i know they, they know what they're doing because they made this 16.9 i wish they had done the same thing on here where the scoops would be exactly you know two scoops would equal 16.9 but you know i guess it's splitting here so the scoops are like a little point nine less than 16.9 but you can't tell the difference so one of these you dump in a bottle you're ready to go i like the ease of use i like the ease so i have them in my bag when we go to grand fundos or when we ride away from the area i always have them in my food bag and I care. I always have one of these for the mid rise stop. So check it out. It's great and it works perfectly. And this time of year when it's hot, it is excellent in hot weather, especially because you need something like this that will be absorbed quickly without additional water. Sometimes if you drink something too strong, you need water when it's very hot. This is not the case. That's what they mean when they say isotonic. So it's Vitalite. I bought it with my own money. It's not sponsored on, by anybody on the channel. Check it out and you will not be disappointed. So no matter what, don't let the heat or anything stop you. Keep getting your K's in.